ice in my mouth, of course. Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. All right, so Mama is having another reaction on her face. And, you know, I'm just, I'm so over, <laughs> I'm so over this right now, but it's okay. We're going to get through it. It is what it is. All right, so um, let's see what we can do about covering it up, shall we? The complexion is really suffering today. Hi, hey, Nicole. So you can see that I have this like raised red itchiness here, 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 all over the place. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday. They have no idea what it is. Um, I haven't had gluten or dairy, so can't imagine what that is. I ordered that shirt. Should have gone with the large. What was it short? It's a little bit short. It's not terrible, but it's not as long as I would like it. I agree with that. Um, so my general doctor has no idea what it is. So I go to the allergist next Tuesday and I can't take any antihistamines for three days leading up to it so that if they do a skin test, I'll actually react. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Um, so hopefully they're going to be able to tell me what it is. And hopefully it's something that you can take a pill and fix because honestly... Who the heck wants to walk around itchy and fluffy and red? And it's like destroyed my complexion. I have like these red bumps everywhere. Whatever. This too shall pass, right? Hi, Nicole. Hi, Lara. <clears throat> All right. Let's so I'm taking the kids up to the lake today to go on my uncle's boat. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So let's do something fun, shall we? Let's do something fun. All right, I am going to go in with CC cream mixed with some foundation for a more fuller coverage look so that we don't scare people when we get up to the lake. I'm using the CC cream because it's got SPF 30 in it, so it's like my sunscreen. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this, I'm going to go in with honey beige, honey beige liquid foundation. So I'm going to do CC cream in the shade medium on the back of my hand, just like that. You don't need a lot. One of these will last you a long time. I heard mom and I can't tell if it's my kids or the neighbors. I guess we'll find out. All right, and then I'm gonna do about a half a pump of the honey beige on the back of my hand. And I just kind of mix it together like a paint palette. And we're gonna make this go away. I feel great. It's gonna be great. I'm even getting it like here, like on my mustache. Being, being a girl is hard, I tell you that much. My husband was telling me how he has acid reflux last night. I was like, at least you're still pretty. And he's like, oh my God, my God. <laughs> okay, so I still have some left over on the back of my hand in case we need it. I'm just going to go in with an eco tool sponge just wash this with hot water and hand soap and i'm going to blot it all over and look at the coverage already canceling out the redness thank you arbon okay forehead i think we're definitely going to need some of that redness rescue powder today though Hi, Amina. I can't decide if I hope this is an allergy that's environmental and I can eat whatever I want, or I can't decide if I hope it's a food allergy and I can avoid it and have this go away completely. Hi, Jennifer. I can't decide what would be the better option, honestly, because neither of them are great. Hi, Jess. All right, blend down your neck. I always say that as I blend down my neck and then my voice cracks and I sound like a 12 year old boy going through puberty. Hi, Erin. All right, so that's good. All the redness is now canceled out thanks to foundation and CC cream. And I'm going to set it now with redness rescue powder because why not? I think it's super important. A, to set your makeup so that it doesn't move all day, but B, the green in this, see how it picks up the green, is going to cancel out any redness on my skin and it's also going to set my makeup so it doesn't move. Hi, Sabrina. 
All right, so Redness Rescue Mattifying Powder. I'm just gonna press into my skin and seal all that goodness in. All right, and I look human again. Thank goodness. Okay. All right, let's go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna be out in the sun today, so I'm gonna use bronzer instead of using like a really sharp contour. This is our Glow On Bronzer. It looks beautiful on all skin types. It's a one size fits all, one color fits all type of situation. Um, it's a nice even sort of tan brown as opposed to a really reddish or orange color. So it's not gonna like change on you or oxidize. Hi, Justine. Hi, Lauren forehead. Get in that cheekbone. Jawline. And another reason to set your makeup is because you're switching from a cream liquid over to a powder like this. You want to make sure that you set it so that your bronzer doesn't like hit certain areas differently than others and you get a nice even distribution of your powder. Hi, Ashley. Let's go down the sides of our nose. Where do you get the little brush that you use over your concealer? This is just, it's an actually an eyeshadow brush. It's a cream eyeshadow brush. I can find one for you, Lauren. I think mine is just um, from Target. Let's go in and highlight our under eyes now. I'm gonna use my loose foundation powder in the shade Ivory. Um, this is probably my favorite color to highlight and brighten with. It also sets my makeup really nicely. It's got an SPF factor of 15 and it lends to like zero creasing or showing of my fine lines. I personally love the loose powder in the shade Ivory for that. So I'm gonna take the short flat side of my damp sponge and just pop it on that flat side. And I'm just gonna go under here and up the side of my nose. Hi, Alyssa. On the side of my nose again. Hi, Ash. All right, we're gonna let that sit. Then we will go back and blend it out. We're gonna like bake with it. Oh, here comes Dylan. What are you doing, Dodie? Are you doing a makeup video? I'm doing my makeup video. What are you doing? You just wanted to what? Go to the lake right now. Go to the lake right now. We can't go to the lake until like 1.30 but we will go to the lake, I promise you. All right, so we're gonna let that foundation powder just sit there while we do our brows and our eyeshadow. Um, I'm going in with our brow pencil in the shade Medium, which is one of my favorites. Um, I typically toggle back and forth between Medium and Light most often. I'm gonna use the little spoolie end and brush up, and then I'm gonna take and draw a line from the inner bottom corner up and to the tail. And then basically you're gonna just outline the perfect shape of your brow for you. Fill in the arch to the tail. And then I kind of feather in the front a little bit at a time. And then grab the spoolie end again and just brush up and over. And that's how you get a really natural looking brow. You can still see my brow hairs. It doesn't look so completely filled in that it looks phony. And this brow pencil is key for that. I was never able to achieve that. I was always getting a really heavy, thick, stamped on brow look. 
And I personally just don't like that. Not for me, at least. Other people can rock it. This Polish girl cannot. All right, filling in the arch to the tail. And then feathering in the front. And brushing up. I've been toying with the idea, this is what I do in my free time. I've been toying with the idea of coming in a little bit closer and seeing what happens. Because I'm noticing some people that I follow on Instagram have their eyebrows really close together. And I've been wondering, like, what's that all about? What's that like? Do I have free, too much free time? Probably. It's a very, very good assumption. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our brow gel and just set that where it goes. I'm gonna use the shade medium dark today because my hair is growing out and I'm a brunette. So let's really embrace the dark side, shall we? So our brow gel comes in three different kinds. We have the clear brow gel, we have the medium light, or the light medium, and then the medium dark that I'm using right now. This just kind of sets your brows in place and it's like a mascara wand for your brows. So it kind of gives you a more textured look to your brows, um, makes them look a little bit fuller and helps them stay in just the right position all day long. It gives you like a microbladed look. It's also great for touching up your roots if you're going gray, just saying. Now that phase three and two are open, you can get your hair done, it's less of an issue, but you know, I'm always looking out for you guys. All right, let's go in with a prompt. Let's do blush last. All right, we're gonna use cherry blossom today because I'm just feeling this for summer. Um, I'm gonna go with the shade Nectar. I'm gonna put that on my finger and we're gonna place it just on our lid. Are you doing gymnastics in there? Dilly Jake. Are you doing gymnastics on my bed? Is that what's happening? Quite the conversationalist. You promise not to get hurt, right? Okay. Yeah, right. All right, let's go in with... Hmm. Let's go in with the shade Flower. I don't think I've used that one yet. We're gonna go with the shade Flower. And I'm gonna put this right on the crease of my eye. And we'll see where we end up. I have to do everything symmetrically because if I get like one eye done, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to recreate it on the other. It's a mental block. I think we can go in a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna grab a little more flower and build that color up just a little bit more. Blending it out. Honestly, you don't need a ton of, of um, product. You just need to blend it out back and forth. You keep your eye open. That way you'll really feel where that eye well is, that crease, and just kind of keep going back in that sweeping motion. And then I always like to take a brush that has nothing on it and just blend out the back corner right here so that you don't end up with a ton of pigment that doesn't really look like it belongs anywhere. All right, two coats of Speaks Volume Mascara. This is, I don't like to play favorites with my products, but this is of the two mascaras my favorite. Um, I love the It's a Long Story for my lower lashes because it doesn't make them stick together. It just makes them look really long and luxurious, but this makes my lashes look super fluffy. Like a strip lash.
and two coats. Absolute necessity. The first coat I consider like my primer coat. Hi Chantel. So should we take bets and see what this allergic reaction situation is? Because I'm dying to find out and I'm almost irritated with myself that I've waited this long to take formal medical action against it. But what my soul tells me is that they're gonna be like, we really couldn't pinpoint it. So this is just your life now. Being a giant, itchy, red rash. Enjoy that. Because we're going to the lake, I'm not going to put any mascara on my lower lashes today because that's going to be like the first thing to move. Although, you know what I could do? All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a coat of the Speaks Volume on top because the Speaks Volume is, dun dun dun, drum roll please, waterproof. So this is the It's a Long Story Mascara, waterproof. And we're just going to coat our lashes with the waterproof and be super geniuses that way. Okay, not mad at that at all. This might be my new cocktail for summer. So the wand on these two things is totally different. This wand is, it's got like more of a grip to it. I don't know the science behind either wand, why? One is one way and the other is different, but I'm just back to you, reporting back to you. All right, <clears throat> let's go and blend out our ivory foundation. So what that did was just kept our skin looking really nice and bright. You could have blended it all in before, but I feel like if I wait until after I do my eyes, that prevents me from getting any like eye caca on my, you know, my cheekbone area. And I feel like I want a little bit more bronzer right on my nose. I've never been good at contouring my nose and I aspire to be better. It just always looks really fake in the mirror and it's hard. I like don't accept it. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that is. That doesn't belong to me. So let's try new goals for today. Let's try to get good at contouring my nose in a realistic way. See, I feel like that looks dark there. It's really kind of amazing. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty berry color today, called berry, what do you know? And I'm just gonna dance this right on the area that I already canceled out being red. Let's add a little redness to it, why not? Just the apples of my cheek and kind of bounce it around, feather it out. And then lastly, let's hop on a really simple lip gloss. We're just gonna do a gloss today. I'm not even gonna line my lips. We're gonna go in with Mimosa because I'm obsessed with this for summer. It's just the prettiest coral pink. Now, if you notice, I don't put a ton of product on my lips because I feel like that's when it gets really sloppy looking. I love that shade. 
but you know what I am going to do. I'm going to laugh. I'm taking brow pencil in the shade medium. I'm just going to trace the line of my lip really quickly. Hi, Carol. All right, and then last but not least, I know I've said that probably twice already, we're gonna set our makeup with refreshing spray. I can't help myself, you're absolutely right, Nicole. It just feels wrong not to line my lips. I'll be honest with you, it just feels wrong on my lunch break. How are you, Carol? All right, so that is our lake look for the day our makeup is not going to move it's going to just stay right where it is it's got spf on um super easy breezy feels good my redness is gone you make me smile nicole you make me smile all right so anybody can recreate this um it's probably quite a bit more products than the person the average person would say is their daily driver makeup routine but literally once you have these they're going to last you months and months and months so I'm going to go take a picture in that window and then I'll list all the products that I used. If you guys have any questions or need to get color match, just shoot me a message or comment on this video and I will get right back to you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Carol. You can catch a replay. And I always post everything that I do on YouTube. So you can always just type in Megan Barkovich in the search engine and all of my tutorials come up. Um, so sometimes it's easier to find things on there um, than going through Facebook, which can kind of get inundated with pictures of my dog and my kids. So with that, I love you guys and I will see you back here really soon.